فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير So Nuh عليه الصلاة والسلام He says فقلت استغفروا ربكم I told my people Say astaghfirullah, turn to Allah, ask Allah's forgiveness. See the same statement we are saying today. What is the moral of today's message? Astaghfirullah. Seek Allah's forgiveness. That is the moral. So he told his people the same thing. And then he explained to them why he is saying that. Why am I saying, say astaghfirullah? Innahu kana ghaffara. Point number one, because Allah is very, very forgiving. You see, there is a difference between Ghafoor and Ghaffar. What is the difference? Ghafoor is one who is forgiving. And Ghaffar is one who continues to forgive all the time. He, my brothers and sisters, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will continue to forgive you repeatedly again and again until the day you die. No matter how many times a sin is done, your duty is to keep on asking Allah's forgiveness. When you ask Allah's forgiveness, you need to be genuine not to go back. But if shaitan has trapped you again and you went back after having planned not to go back, still you will find Allah most forgiving, most merciful. That is the meaning of ghaffar. Ghaffar meaning one who just keeps on forgiving. He just carries on forgiving. That's the name of Allah. And it's a quality of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Nuh alayhi salam says, I told my people, keep on asking Allah's forgiveness, astaghfirullah, because He will keep on forgiving you. For as long as you keep on asking Him, He will keep on giving you. Subhanallah. So don't lose hope. Ask Allah's forgiveness every day. And ask Him forgiveness because asking forgiveness will elevate your status even after your sin is forgiven. Then what will happen? Say for example, I keep on asking Allah's forgiveness. Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, forgive me. He says, he will grant you beneficial rain from the skies. Through what? Through Astaghfirullah. Because I said Astaghfirullah, oh Allah forgive me, oh Allah forgive me. Beneficial rain. What is the meaning of rain? What does rain depict? Rain depicts the flourishing of the earth and the beauty of the economy. And your entire nation begins to flourish because of the beautiful rain. The crop is produced, people are eating, people are happy. The rivers are flowing and the water is there. So everything is beautiful. That is rain. How did we get it? Astaghfirullah. Oh Allah, I seek your forgiveness. Now the young people of today, they have a problem. If you tell them, Astaghfirullah will give you rain, they will tell you, I don't want rain, I want money. I'm sure you know that. They tell you, give me, you know, fulus. I need the money, I need the cash. I need the ringgates and the dollars. What about rain? Rain comes or don't come, I'm not worried. I need the money. Now that is shallow and it is narrow-mindedness because obviously you will only get money through hard work. And that will only happen if your economy is flourishing and you have a job and so on. So Allah says, we will grant you the rain. But because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give us even more, guess what He says? Immediately after He speaks about rain, listen to what He says. And He will strengthen you with money. Which means, don't worry, we know what you want. You want the cash? We will give you the cash also. Through what? Astaghfirullah. Allah says, we will give you the wealth. We will give you sustenance. We will sustain you. We will provide for you. We will make sure you are provided for. Be happy and content. No need to steal and no need to live a life higher than your means. Get down to your means. You earn a thousand ringgit, manage your month so that you will not use more than a thousand that month. You earn a million, manage your month so that you will give away a lot of that million, inshallah, to a good cause. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and open our doors. So Allah is telling us He's going to give you amwal, wealth. And then you know what He says? He will grant you strength through sustenance. He will provide for you and He will give you offspring, children. What type of children? Number one, those who don't have children will be blessed with children. You know what that means? Astaghfirullah will open the doors of marriage for those who are not married. Because to, you can't just have children. In order to have children, you need to be married. So if Allah says, we'll give you children, it means we'll get you married, someone good, and inshallah, you'll have children, 
by the will of Allah. So number one, you want to get married? Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, forgive me. A hundred times a day, a million times a day, for ten years, five years, whenever it is. And you find the doors opening one after the other. And after that, may Allah bless those who don't have children with children. But some people don't have kids in a rush. Don't lose hope. Allah knows if it's better for you and when it's better for you. But what will open the door? It's a door that might be sealed for now. You can open it through Astaghfirullah. Oh Allah, forgive me. Open the door. And on top of that, let's continue. If a person does have children, sometimes they are depressed because the biggest form of hurt that a person can feel is the hurt that comes from his or her own children against him or her. That's the biggest hurt. If you want to be hurt by your neighbor, it's fine because you know what? I can shift my house. If you hurt by someone else, it's one of the... But when you are hurt by your own child, it hurts you much more. How, what is the solution for that? Astaghfirullah. Turn back to Allah. You turn to Allah. See, they will turn. We disobey Allah and we want our children to obey us. Who are we? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. That's why we say Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. So He will grant us children and on top of that, the children will be the coolness of our eyes. <laughs> Ultimately, we all want the gardens, the gardens of paradise. We all want rivers to flow. Allah says that same Astaghfirullah will take you there as well.